Are you curious to learn what are the most commonly tested reading teaks? In this video, I will share the top four teaks seen on the third grade through 10th grade star reading tests given in 2021. Angela here from Custom Classroom. I want to remind you that I'm not affiliated with TEA or STAR. This is my interpretation as a Texas educator and test prep writer. If you teach elementary, middle school, or high school, this video is for you. It is beneficial as a teacher to compare across grade levels the most commonly tested TEKS. You can see either where your students are headed or where they've been. When calculating the top Top teaks, I use the teaks labeled on the star released answer key from the 2021 release test. First up is third grade. The most tested teaks were inference, figurative language, author's purpose, and features. Next up is fourth grade. The top teaks were inference, text evidence, comparing texts, and author's purpose. Now in fifth grade, the most common found teaks were inference, figurative language, author's purpose, and features. So in review, if you teach elementary school, four good teaks to focus on in your test prep review are inference, author's purpose, figurative language, and text features. Now on to sixth grade where the most questions were found on inferencing, text evidence, connections, or you could also call it comparing texts, and figurative language. In seventh grade, it was inference, text evidence, connections or comparing texts, and summarizing. And in eighth grade, it was inference and text evidence, connections or comparing texts and summarizing. So if you teach middle, middle school, four good teaks to focus on when reviewing and planning your test prep are inference, text evidence, connections when it comes to comparing texts and summarizing the text. Now looking at English one, the top teaks were inference and text evidence, context clues, and there was a three-way tie for third and fourth between thesis and claim, author's message, and figurative language. When looking at English 2, it was inference and text evidence, context clues, text evidence, and informational text. So if you're in high school, your review could focus on inferencing, text evidence, context clues, and informational text. Overall, the big winner is inferencing. This is a great place to emphasize in all grade levels. As you sit down with your teams and plan how you want to approach your test prep review this testing season, keep in mind these most commonly tested teaks in each grade level so you can be more strategic and targeted in your review. If you want to look at the graphs more closely, click the link in the description for a breakdown of each grade level. Good luck, and for more test prep help, please follow me on Teachers Pay Teachers or subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tips and tricks to help make star test prep less stressful.